Hello, hello everybody. My name is Tina and today I'm going to show you the inside contents of the Wildlife Explorer. Now, I'm so glad you're here with me at Homeschooling Oils to see this review. Now, if you are looking for a way to teach your children, if you're in high school, teach them zoology, or even if they're in middle school or whatever, because you know we can do our thing with our homeschooling. I really, really like this and this is kind of untraditional spin to a traditional subject if that make any sense so i like this is because it come it's a it's in a binder and it talks about everything dealing with wildlife and it's categorized and this has been well used so excuse the the damage and stuff like that <laughs> but anyway as you can see it talks about let me see can i hold it like this yeah all right, so it talks about animal identification and it breaks it down into categories. Now, I'm missing some of the groups because this has been a well-used um, binder. So it talks about world explorers. It has, it's organized, keep it in order. It talks about the different parts and it's, the information is very thorough and it opens up to just, look at that, so beautiful, right? And it has, you could just have, build your curriculum around this. You could just use this and do different little parts during the day. It tells you whether they're a mammal, what they focus on, where they live, different birds, amphibians, even breaks down. I tell you about different things about the national park. You can actually incorporate a DVD or if you have Amazon, prime you can watch different videos on prime for free if you have netflix you can watch different things for free it's very very good so it talks about conservation it talks about pollution and it's going to talk about <laughs> oh my mercy it talks about different animals it talks about the place in which it's located you can actually combine this with a world map and have your child actually locate where the animals instead of locating it by because usually when we do um world world maps or even um a united states map we usually use the flags of that particular state or area to identify that particular place well why not switch it up a bit and use an animal that is indigenous to that particular area to identify that place so your children is learning and having fun and and you can do both you can do the the, the flag if you want and you can also do uh, the animal but i think it's just a nice little spin to actually put the animal on the map which is indigenous to that area because all animals is not located in all areas um naturally and so it has different information in it and like i said before it opens up and it's front and back and it comes with diagrams so you can have them diagram it so many different things you have spelling words it actually tells you the order in which this animal fall into the animal kingdom it also tell you neat things about it also show you the location let me see if i pull it up also tell you the location in which the animal is located or indigenous to so it's really really nice so let me do a flip through so can i hold this up because it's pretty heavy so give me a moment <laughs> all right so let me flip through right quick so hopefully you can see it let me dash it down a little bit all right very very nice now you i did see this for sale on amazon well not on sale i saw it for i saw it on amazon for sale i'm not too sure on the price now um i have also seen it on ebay this is this is an item that is not currently being sold from the company as far as i'm as far as i know so you have to buy it through a third party but sometimes you actually get an amazing deal so check it out it's well worth the money you could just use this and do everything in regards to your science, especially dealing with animals. And it will tie into biology and all other type of stuff. So you see how it has it grouped up and organized. Love it, love it, love it. Do another quick. Thing. So it has a section for birds, have a section for reptiles, fish, invertebrates, vertebrates, world explorers, conservations. I mean, everything beautiful 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 so if you're looking for not a traditional textbook to cover your zoology but it's still doing zoology but from a different little spin i feel like you would enjoy this and then i encourage you to tie in with other videos dvds going to the zoo um if you have the, some of these animals 
in your own backyard, go and see them, actually doing some sculpting, painting, building models of these animals. It's so many different things you can do. You can actually take the animal, make a little small little picture and say, this animal is indigenous to this location on the world map. All kind of amazing things that you can actually do. And for older children, you can also have them write a little essay on what they thought about that particular animal. What is their favorite animal? Which animal they would like to have as a pet if they could. Um, their thoughts on animals being in zoos and different stuff like that. Get more deeper. All kind of different things that you can do with this particular book. My daughter, whew, she absolutely loved this. She has been in this book for like two, three years now and still have not completed everything in it because she gets really, really deep and detailed in it. My son, he loves it too. We only have one copy. I wish I had more than one, but this book, has, this binder has been greatly loved and this is one of my most favorite. I have a whole lot of different things on science because science is our, we love science. However, this is one of my favorite resources in regards to animals it's beautiful so i hope you guys enjoyed this review if i can find the link for this that is not astronomically expensive i will put it in the description box below because i haven't looked for it in a while but i just want to show you this i will talk to you guys later if you have not yet hit the like button hit it if you have not yet told me hello comment below and if you have not yet subscribed hit that subscribe button and until next time i'll talk to you later Bye.